Okay, got a bottle of water. Gonna raise my dongers. Here we go, Pokemon time. Oh, I'm sorry. The scream was a little too, uh... There is too much. I have Torkoal, Scizor, Aegislash, Snoop Frog, Golurk, Venusaur. And this is like, I have to try to beat the final four. What are they called? The Elite? The Elite Four? Hello? Hello? Victory Road? Okay, I go to Victory Road. Where is Victory Road? I look. We we victory root. I actually, oh my god, I met a guy that sounded like that. I was tempted to like get him on my phone, just saying, "Can you say go to the town square, please?" So there's a few areas. Uh, oh, that's that's Victory Road. What's this? Kill your city? I need my slave. Do I need my slave Pokemon with me? I will bring this. Oh, wait. Strength and Surf. You need a Pokies with Strength. Well, instead of bringing. How about this? I already have Surf. And my my T Rex has uh, strength, so I could just bring him, and he's a decent fighter. So I don't really need to bring my slave. I could bring my my strumpt. Strumpt. Let's see, who am I gonna replace? Rock Dragon. It's a tough call, man. Tough call. No, I'm not going to put this on YouTube, Mr. Poop. You guys want me to get rid of Twerk Hole? I mean, look at him. So beautiful. Yeah, Twerk Hole is my main. Just because I hate him. I have a love-hate relationship with, with Twerk Hole. Um... Oh, man. 
Oh, he's got Rock Smash. I'm under leveled because I've been using all kinds of different pogies. I've been trying to level a bunch of different ones in my 30 something hours of gameplay so it wouldn't get boring. I will bring the slave with me instead of the sword. I know that sounds stupid. I just gotta find where, where it is. Hawlucha, where is it? Oh my god. Strength, rock smash, cut. Okay. How do I rename... Um, where do I go to rename a Pokemon? Which, which town? I need to rename Torkoal. Mr. Poop, if you ask that question one more time, I'm gonna shit on your face. see Poke Center. Oh, gotcha. You there. No, you're the one. No, I don't want you to rate the nickname. Oh, okay, maybe you do have to rate the nicknames. The new nickname will be exactly as it should be. The best nickname. This, this needed to happen. It's been a long time. It's been a long time in the making. Um, the answer is one, Zood. It just wouldn't like before. This is only my second today, so I don't feel too bad about it. Considering how fucking stressed I was today, I feel like I did a pretty, pretty good job. Finally, there will be battles. Finally. Doc smoke as many cigarettes as Doc can. Whoa, frames. Holy shit. I had the 3D slider up, and there was no 3D effect. And when I took it down, the frame rates got better immediately. That 
was very strange. Hey, Carlo. Happy birthday, Carlo. Well, happy late birthday. Gonna do? <laughs> Whale Lord? My twerk hole's got this. Slave called Endeavor. I, you don't need to learn anything ever again. Don't worry. Oh! <laughs> Super effective on Sizor. Whoops. by engulfing the target with an intense fire. Ah. Uh. Yeah, the accuracy is terrible. You can only use it, like, five times. 100% burn rate. I don't know, that 100% burn rate's not terrible. Seven, Jesus Christ, Sizor. I don't know why that's so funny, but it, it really, really is. No! Oh, fuck! Is there any way I could push it backwards? I know it's pronounced Caesar or scissor or whatever. I like Sizor, so that's how I say it. I'm just used to saying it that way. God damn it!
Ursa. What? What is this? Oh, I know an Ursa is a bear. Ursa ring? Oh, because it's got a big ring on it. <laughs> okay. Question, was that Twerk Hole's um, last move that he could learn? Inferno? It was. Oh, oh it, it gets one more. Okay. First time I've seen anyone that looks like that. Also, speaking of peels here, um, I'm actually kind of enjoying Walking Dead Season 4. It's, um, it's, it's better than Season 3. I feel like Season 2 and Season 3 of Walking Dead, like, Season 2 was just annoying. I, I really didn't want to watch that season, but I watched it because I needed to know what happened. But, um, Season 3 was a little bit better because they finally got to the prison. Some good stuff happened, but it was still kind of goofy. I, I hate to say that, but it, it, it really was. It just felt like blatant fan service. Three was... I don't know. It was, the sh you know, Glenn Mazaza, I think he's the guy who was running the show at that point. And he was just shitty. After Frank Darabont left, the show went down. However, season four is being done by the guy who uh, Okay, we're gonna let's just protect ourselves always. There's an episode in season three called Clear. And I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but it was a really good episode. And um, that guy is now heading the show. And it shows. It's The quality has improved. Last night's episode was actually unexpected. For anyone who's seen it, I'll explain. If you haven't seen it, I'm not going to ruin anything for you, but let's just say I expected them to bring back that particular person in a completely different and very predictable way. And now I can see they're trying to challenge the viewer a little bit. Maybe the same way you might be challenged by someone like Theon Greyjoy. Or Gull Dukat, if you've ever watched Deep Space Nine. So, pretty decent. Strongest dragon type move. Um, it sounds like I should come back there at some point. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying the, the same way the character 
of Gold Ducat was interesting. I feel like they're trying to do that now. And Walking Dead. I know. I, I would have been excited too, Butts Machine. Mark Alemo is, is amazing. Him and Andrew Robinson, aka Garrett, are some of the best actors on that show. Honey and flowers, okay. I'll do that. Chandelure? I've never- Oh my god! It's a fucking chandelier. What is going on with this game? Study, please go. Ah, oh, fuck. Goodbye, Torkoal. Pump it up. Pump it up. Good job. Focus punch. Oh my god. The user focuses its mind before launching a punch. This move fails if the user is hit before it is used. Ah. Golurk is a very slow Pokemon. He's a great Pokemon, but very slow. Season 2 of American Horror Story was shit. Oh. Well, I saw season 1, and I liked it. I watched the whole season. But, uh... I don't know. I never really had any interest in watching season 2. Season 3 is pretty good. Witches in New Orleans. Hmm. That sounds... That sounds alright, I guess. Yeah, I have one of these. Um, what's his name? Incoming gave me one.
birthday hoodie. Let's see, Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Turtle. One of those guys that goes through the game never learning all the specific move types and, and never knowing how to like appropriately counter. I was told to use honey in, in the grass. I don't have honey. It's in the first tab. Oh. happening. So fucking high. Well, I hope you're pleased with yourselves. puzzles. Not worth it. Okay. Not gonna bother. It gets you the TM for solar beam. I mean, that's cool, I guess. This gate is the entrance to Victory Road. Only Pokemon trainers who have collected all eight badges may pass. Yes, I have eight. Test my abilities. Of 
farping. It's a fairy? I thought it was ice. I'm sorry, but this thing looks like it's an ice thing. punch. Seahorse. It's beautiful. It's cute. It's a fucking floating seahorse. Super effective. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, man. Seriously. Don't do that. Skin of my teeth, I am allowed to continue. Guys, is there a Pokemon Center up ahead? No. Not until after Victory Road. Which way is Pogies? Perhaps Pogies is this way. I'm thinking about switching out some of my Pokémon. Like getting rid of Twerk Hole. Should I, I keep my slave with me? For Victory Road. Okay, I will keep the slave. Thank you. 
All right. God damn it, twerk hole. You drive a hard, uh, hard bargain. Just come with me. God damn it. I saw his little face. And, and it, like, it was sad. He was like, Urgh! And that's when I knew I had to take him with me. should do well. Yes, you are useful. Well done, Twerk. Avoided the attack. I almost feel bad at doing the stuff I do. When I use Sizor, it's just it's, it's not even it's not even a problem. Shit, that could be a problem. Yep, problem. Problem has arisen. Your Pokemon are the ones that got experience from this match. 
window closed time. Oh no, my curtain fell down. <laughs> Twerk learn his um, last move. Oh, there's randoms in here too. Oh no. spooked and now he can't move. Running around in my bare feet on the train. Do you have any idea how strong that has made me? PlayStation Bandere. Pokemon always freaks me out. Like how incredibly anthropomorphized it is. And then you see its face and its extra set of arms, and it's just like, what are you doing? Is his tongue gonna lick Twerkhole's head? The only thing Lick a Tongue is gonna do is make Twerkhole feel really good. Mr. Hallenbeck says, Hey Vinny, 
what would a twerk hole sound like having sex? The answer is... <laughs> Sorry, gross. <laughs> On the topic of licking tongues, oh my god, what is that? Is that a cloister with a licking tongue inside of it? Nova, what the fuck? Tungster. That is a vagina you do not fuck with. Like, I can't ever use Twerk Hole to the very end, because he just sucks so much. Right, because grass type versus flying type. Whoops. Revolver. As someone who feels responsible for your well being, much in the same way as a parent would. I'm gonna have to ask you to get your shit together. Being a slutty 16 year old is a very bad idea. Why you would even bring that to chat is, is baffling. Clam your dicks. up into the sky together. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, I hate this Pokemon so much. Stop bouncing! Who would have who would have thought that my most difficult opponent thus far would be this stupid looking thing? Fucking cunt. And now you're dead. My god.
like two of two of my Pokemon have been killed. The other two are paralyzed. Just all kinds of terrible. Stable Dominus. <laughs> now nah, I'm good. I'm good on the lick of tongue. Wrong button. I'm running out of potion potions. Uh oh. takes to go on a journey is a pinch of curiosity. Paxorus? I've never I've never seen this. Oh my god, what is this thing? It's gonna kill me. A, a turtle cannot win in this situation. Or or maybe it can. Well done. Oh, that's the evolution to Axu? Zelda, though, I think. Yeah, I think Zelda's probably... At the moment, my most anticipated game. I've seen the great reviews, and then I've seen the one shitty review from Destructoid, where it got a 6.5 out of 10.
Would you guys replace any of uh, any of these moves? Maybe SmackDown. Yeah, like Link Between Worlds is getting like 10s, 9.8, 9.6, 9.4, 9.5, 9.9, Destructoid 6.5. My, my. I'll have to be the judge of that. I don't know, I didn't read most of the review, but I read... I read enough of it to um, determine that I haven't played the game yet, and therefore I cannot make a proper judgment call. the way to go. It's, yeah, it's a Noil. Noil bat. Oh, damn it. See? There it is. Time for you to draw porn of it. Catch the Noil bat. All right. Okay, I guess south is not the way to go, but it leads me to TM. So that's pretty cool, I guess. They live in pitch black caves. Their enormous ears can emit ultrasonic waves of 200,000 hertz. Flying and dragon. Shock. Is this any good? Uh, 
psychic move. Oh no, I did it again. And this time it's in Ariados. I think I can run. plugged it in, so don't worry about that message, about the battery running low, it's it's good, battery's all taken care of, care of and accounted for. Goblin, what do you mean you showed them some of Vinny? And they told you to stop stalking them? <laughs> what? I don't understand. user breaks its shell, which lowers defense and special defense stats sharply, but raises attack, special attack, and speed stats. Hmm. Bossa Nova? That is my favorite Pixies album, as well as something from Drinking Out of Cups. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Defense, special defense. Sharply raises attack, special attack, and speed.
potions. I don't like that. Carbos? What's Carbos? I disagree, boss. I feel like the Wii U is worth buying. It's especially worth buying when Mario 3D World comes out. I think the PS4 and the Xbox One probably... If you had to choose between the three consoles... I mean, sure, if you're looking for... Um, you know, stuff that's gonna be good in the future. You're gonna want probably a PS4. If you want guns, guns where you can shoot them in people's faces, I would say PS4 Xbone. It's pretty good for that. And there's a ton of other things too. But if if you're looking for a system this holiday that has games. Actually, the Wii U has some games. It actually has got a pretty decent install base. And there are bundles. One of them comes with two, two games. Wii U is for children, says an Anon watching me play Pokemon. It's not... I mean, I've been a very, very, very severe detractor of the Wii U because of its really, really poor launch. But it's been a year, and now... I mean, let's just... Like I said, I've done this before. I'm going to rattle off a few games. Monster Hunter. Super Mario 3D World, which comes out in a few days. Pikmin 3. That's just three games that I think are as good as anything else. Then there's Wonderful 101. You might be interested in that. Nintendo Land, which is really cheap and a really good party game. And then Mario and Luigi U, which are good platformers if you're looking for that. Lego City's alright. Game of Mario's okay. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I would recommend those. And Zombie U, if you could find for like 20 bucks, is actually a pretty decent game. Well, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, if you think about it, if you're going to get a console for this holiday season, there's a console with at least three classic games. Really, really good games. As, and then you have about four or five peripheral games. rehashes and lame third-party games except Monster Hunter. You wouldn't consider Monster Hunter to be the biggest rehash of all of them? That's an interesting logic you have there. Next year you get Project X, you get Bayonetta 2, Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, Donkey Kong Country. So... I mean, I don't think the Wii U is, is a particularly bad purchase. For 300 bucks, two games that comes with it, that's pretty goddamn good. If you're looking for great graphics, <clears throat> excuse me, great graphics and all that stuff, I mean, you know, go for, um, go for PC gaming, or wait a year, and then the PS4 will be cheaper, maybe, and it'll have better games, because right now it's got fuck all. Same thing with Xbone. That's my reasoning. I'm sticking to it. It's just an opinion. I know people get very, very touchy about these things. But if you're going to waste your money on the new PS4 so you can play with camera robots and have them, like, you know, piss champagne, that's cool and everything. 
but um, I feel like it's a waste of money right now. The Wii U is not a perfect system. It has a lot of problems, and it does not sell well. But it's gotten so much better. So I definitely, definitely think the Wii U has come into its own and will continue to do so over the next year. Um, if it was up to me, I would say don't buy any consoles if you're not interested in Nintendo's offerings. I would just wait, hold on to your old shit, enjoy GTA 5 and PC games, get a 3DS instead. The 3DS is where all the great games are at the moment. Fire Emblem, this, you know, Mario, Mario Kart, fucking... Um, Animal Crossing. There's a lot of good stuff on the 3DS right now. I think it's currently the best of what's new that's, that's currently out. Yes, I'm aware that GTA 5 is on a console, but from my perspective, since I have an Xbox 360, I'm going to stick with that and all the stuff I currently have, and then next year, for holiday season, I'll probably pick up a PS4. I'm done with Microsoft. I've said that before. I am fucking done. I usually get the Nintendo system and one other console, right? So. It was um, Nintendo 64 and PS1. Then it was GameCube and PS2. Then it was Wii, Xbox 360. And now it's going to be PS4 and Wii U. Microsoft is... They just... I'm done with them. They lost me. Okay, that's a shortcut. That's good. I might actually have to take this back to town. I may be a Nintendo fanboy to some extent after growing up with Nintendo. You know, I freely admit it. I love Nintendo. I will defend what I think are good decisions when they make good decisions. When they have good games, I will defend them. I hate when people say they're babby shit because I just don't think that's true. I think Nintendo is more than capable of making a game that is challenging for everyone. Anon, why are you using... what's that arrow for? What, what website are you on, Anon? Feeling a little upset. I just feel like, um, you know, people get a little crazy and they go to great lengths to discount one thing or another. And, uh, I have an Xbox 360 and I can tell you I am slightly disappointed with it. Um, I liked the fact that I could play GTA on it. The Halo games didn't do anything for me. Um, I'll tell you what I did like. I liked the arcade games, like Castle Crashers and that other game. What was it? Um, Shadow Complex. Uh, but most of the games that I have for my 360 are multi-platform. I'm going to read you some of the games I have for my Xbox 360. Also, I'm I'm done. I have to I have to go. I have work early tomorrow, or earlier than excuse me than usual. So we'll do more Elite Four tomorrow. Uh, I have to prepare for my my life. It was fun stepping out of my life for a bit, playing video games with you guys. But you know, more tomorrow. So 
here are some of the games I have. Um, Borderlands, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. I stopped at uh, World at War, by the way. Oh, wait, no, that's not true. I have Modern Warfare 2. Um, Red Dead Redemption. Okay, that was also on PS3. Um, Soul Calibur 4 and 5. Resident Evil 5. Um, GTA 4 and 5. Uh, Rock Band 2. Fallout 3. Um, Bioshock 2. Beatles Rock Band. Uh, that actually came with Rock Band 2, the set I bought. Um, and Skate 3. Okay, the games that I have that are exclusive to Xbox are Gears of War 2 and 3. Um, barely played 3, which is a shame. That was actually pretty good. Fable 2, never finished. Um, Halo Reach and Halo 3, ODST. Halo Reach, I beat the campaign, and that was it. Um, ODST, I beat the campaign. I played a little bit of multiplayer. So it's like, my Xbox 360 ended up turning into a fucking multi-platform machine. I really had very, very minimal interest in the exclusives for the 360. Um, the PS3, it was kind of the same thing. Like the, the reason I didn't buy one is because the only game I really, really wanted to play was Metal Gear Solid. Uh, and that turned into, eventually it turned into me wanting to play Uncharted um, and then The Last of Us. So, I mean, one way or another, the games I was interested in, and no, I wasn't interested in Final Fantasy anymore. I'm, I'm done with that series for now. Um, so, I mean, when you really think about it, the games I personally was interested in for both consoles were so limited that it kind of wouldn't have made much of a difference which one I bought for that previous generation. Um, which is a shame. So, I mean, I'm sure there were more PS3 games that I would have enjoyed. If I had one, I probably would have looked into more of them. But um, when it comes to, you know, console multi-platform games, that's more or less the reason why I get the second system. For the exclusive stuff that I love, that I grew up with, that I know I'm going to enjoy, I get Nintendo. You know, Metroid, Zelda, Mario, Donkey Kong, etc. I know I'm going to like those games whenever they come out. So I stick with it. And for all of my real gaming, the stuff that I really spend a lot of time on, you know, online, is the PC. You know, it's StarCraft 2 I put a lot of time into. I love that game. Diablo 3, unfortunately, I put a lot of time into it. Um, not actually compare that to Darren and it wasn't that much at all, but Counter-Strike, you know, the Valve stuff, the Blizzard stuff that I used to like, um, and then all the indie games and everything else. So then I, I get the handheld stuff from Nintendo as well. So I think Nintendo wins my money. They, they, you know, there's a reason why I like Nintendo stuff. And uh, I'm a 28-year-old man who still plays Babby games, as some would say. But I'm still challenged by them. You know, I think they still know how to make a challenging game. But anyway, um, that's my, my gaming rant. It has something to do with nostalgia, but it has more to do with... I know I'm getting a good experience. You know, Sonic is one of those franchises, no offense to Marissa if she's here, but like Sonic is one of those gaming franchises that came out, when it first came out, it was like on par with Mario, and it was really good, and the nostalgia of the series kept it alive, but it's like those poor Sonic fans just keep getting tortured. Here's a good game every now and then. Here's a shitty game. Here's a god-awful game. Here's a really good game. And then here's a bunch of other shit that doesn't make any sense. And I have to give it to Nintendo. If you look at just the 3D series, Mario 64, Sunshine, Galaxy 1, 2, and now hopefully 3D World, that's pretty goddamn strong. 
Um, I think Nintendo, without the nostalgia, can still make a strong game. So that's my argument. That's I will stick with it. I will take it to my grave. And if 3D World sucks, I will eat my sock on camera. You have my word. So uh, that's it for me. I appreciate you guys listening to my, my little fanboy rants and watching the Pokemon. Um, just remember, Tungster is always watching you. Let's take a look at the art before I go. You know, it's funny, the only console games I'm looking forward to are um, The Division and Destiny. Those are the ones I'm actually interested in at the moment. Um, this one was from Naz from last night, from the corruptions I did. and I didn't show it, <laughs> but wow, that is quite a drawing. This one was for the um, AFK stuff from Tamero. Release, Rees Standby. I wonder what Rees means. No, seriously, that's really cool, though. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> this was from Gross, from my um, earlier Tower of Guns stream. It's pretty badass. Thank you. From Steam Charlie, holy shit, that's pretty good. Shooting some, uh, shooting some pizzas. Yep. I would say that is an accurate depiction of what happened earlier. From Sukoto, meanwhile in Twerk Holes Pokeball. I'm a little confused. I th I think there's a joke I'm not getting. Does the Pokeball have balls? Oh, it's his butt. Oh, oh. Another one from Sukoto. I want to lick a tongue, you Vinny. God damn it, Sukoto. What are you doing? <laughs> and from Dave Rom. Here's a little comic involving Twerk Hole. I should probably deposit Twerk Hole. Although it goes. <clears throat> So I gotta keep this piece of shit. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. Oh wait, here's another one from Sokoto. What what is happening? What am I looking at? Yiffy Chu approved. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going now. This is uh well, all right, here. It's dangerous to whap alone, take this, from Wombat Juice. And, and as a bonus piece of art, Mateu finished his vine ship in um, Space Engineers. Really, really nice work. That must have taken you fucking forever. Jesus Christ. Do me a favor, dude. If you're here, Matt... Um, can you get rid of the HUD by pressing tab and take that picture again? Try to like find a better contrast for it. I don't I know if that's that might be a little retarded to say, but that is an awesome, awesome picture. I would like to see it from another angle without the um heads up display. Alright, well um that's it. People on Twitch, thank you guys for watching as well. And uh everyone else. Again, thanks for joining me. Thanks for listening to this one jabroni from New York rant about video games. It actually kind of made my day a little bit better. So, good night everyone. And stay viney.